Um, my paintings, for the most part, are in pastel, so they're relatively thick. Um, I'm very interested in the surface being a very visceral, painterly surface. But at the same time, I do try to maintain some moments of glazing and thinness in the work. And more and more that I paint, I find that the, the necessity for that contrast of surface. You can see here that um, there were some areas that were really, really thick. But at the same time, um, I played around with the possibility of glazing and keeping some areas quite thin um, so that they would sink back even though color-wise they might come forward. When I do have an idea, and they, they do come, um, and they often come like a, a big surge, <laughs> and when I have those ideas, I try and sketch them out and document them to some degree and paste them on my wall, which is behind me. And from there, if those ideas resonate with me long enough, I'll actually pursue a photo shoot of some sort. So once I have my photo, once I have my image or number, I usually have a number of images, I paint them out on the floor and I start thinking about how the images relate with one another. I think about um, whether or not those ideas are communicating the, I the, the concept that I thought of to begin with. Um, sometimes I'll do another photo shoot after that and um, gather up more ideas, especially if more ideas come somewhere in between. I was looking at film and cinema um, and theater and I started thinking about this idea of applying a narrative structure to a sequence of paintings. Um, I was aware of people who had done it in previous years or centuries or what have you and I, it is kind of a difficult conceptual angle to start a series of works, but at the same time I found it kind of challenging to think about time and, um, and think about a series of paintings starting with an introduction, um, middle being climax, and some kind of resolution at the end. Somewhere in the midst of that project, uh, another event happened, and um, that involved an oil spill that occurred under my house. <laughs> And um, when that occurred, I, I knew I needed to do something with it. And even though it was an entirely different series, I had to follow that. So I, I followed that idea and I set up a photo shoot in my house where we had um, dug out a 20 foot drop underneath the foundation to remediate the oil contamination. So that, uh, that evolved into another series of works, um, which is a series of six paintings. So by November 14th, I'll have two different series, the first being called uh, The Human Animal, and then the second series, which deals with the oil, that one is entitled Cattle.